Cartage must be destroyed. I'm going to be uh, unboxing this Obsidian Crypt from Reaper Miniatures from their Bones line here and taking a look at that as well as discussing some other stuff, some other little goodies I have here. But before I do that, I just want to say that, uh, adjust the camera here a little bit. I just want to say that uh, thank you everyone if you packed the recent Greek Hoplite Water Slide Decal Projects. Um, that project was successful and we were able to get all the decals shipped out. So those have all been shipped out. Thank you if you backed that. Thank you if you supported it. And of course, thank you also if you backed any of the other previous Kickstarters as well. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I've been dealing with uh, new projects coming up, doing a lot of painting, doing a lot of planning, and I have just put my main focus on those there. Now, the unboxing and just the stuff I wanna look at today um, I thought I'd do a video just because, you know, I'm going to be using these in the next Kickstarter as background images to go along with the models I have. But I haven't actually got any model-related items for quite some time, actually. So this is the first time beyond uh, another uh, Kickstarter item that recently came in that I'll, I'll put a very short video on it in another in another uh, video or another another time I'll put it on. But... Um, other than that, I have not like got anything new model-wise. I've been basically painting uh, since the Greeks, other Greeks that I have, and then on to the next projects related miniatures, which I'll share later when I actually have the decals uh, ready to print and uh, you know stick on the models themselves. And that should be very soon here for the next project coming out. More details that, or rather, more details about that coming up. So. You can look at the things I have here. You see Obsidian Crypt. I'm also going to just pop open these things too that I picked up at my local, my friendly local gaming store. So I got a bunch of own stuff here, as you can see. And you can kind of guess what the theme might be for the next Kickstarter based on what this scenery is. The first thing I'm opening here is a sarcophagus from the bones. And it's made out of that cheaper bones plastic. Um, you don't have to prime this stuff. I probably will, but I just want to share this. I really like the detail for the price. You know, I think what I, it's about $5 for a little piece of terrain. Not too bad, but it's really cool because, they, you know, they got this rose emblem on there. They've got a really cool skeleton engraved on there. And of course, you know, a sarcophagus has these roses with the skull on, so that looks really cool. I might paint it in like a dark purple, give it kind of like the vampire vibe or a red. And inside's a nice comfy pillow <laughs> for the dead. So that's the first piece there. I also got, I'm gonna do this one first because it's the same material, the Gravestone of Sorrow. I really like bones. The material is kind of weaker and flimsy than their metal stuff Reaper makes out. But the thing is it's cheaper and it's, in my opinion, more simple to prep and paint. I just wash them and do a little priming and go. There's a bit of a mold line on some of the bone stuff, but if you're just using it for like side pieces, then it's not such a big deal. All right, so here's this, uh, what did I say this was? What was it? The gravestone of sorrow. And basically it's a gravestone and this woman's hugging the grave and obviously she has some sorrow there. I'd probably just make her statue and paint them all gray and just get on with it. But someone might want to paint her like an actual person hugging a, a tombstone there. So now Bones also released a different kind of gray plastic. And I think this might have been the, this is, I think this is the newest type, this is a graveyard statue. It's the newer Bones plastic. And I think it's more durable and better than the older white stuff. And I can already feel it. Like you can't tell on the camera um, but just the feel of it compared to this stuff, like this stuff feels more durable and stronger. So the gray bones material, whatever it is, just feels better. I think it probably paints up better. Um, one thing with the bones though, I've seen that regardless of the material and you can't tell sitting in there, but if I put them like this, you can tell where they've cast it. Like it's crooked there but for like a terrain piece and like something ancient on the field, that doesn't matter. So this guy's just someone's, uh, you know, sword grim reaper. It's gonna be a statue in the graveyard and I'll probably just do these simple gray, you know, and or these can be used as a dungeon clutter. Okay, 
So let's look at, I've actually got a, a Renedra piece here we'll look at after. But the main thing I want to look at today is the Reaper Bones Obsidian Crypt. And when I got this, I was originally thinking, wow, they made an entire, you know, terrain piece out of the, the bones material, right? Like this stuff or the gray stuff. But I actually read on the back here that it says the plastic contains, it's, pl it's a plastic model. So at first I was thinking, okay, it must be, it just must be, you know, it must be the same kind of bone stuff. But it's rather heavy and it felt sturdy. So I'm gonna open it. And you know, it's actually plastic. Like it's not, you know, just feeling the box, I could kind of tell that, hey, it's not the cheap plastic and the other stuff. It's, it's actually like legitimate model plastic. So we're gonna open this up. And I read on the box here that you can take off the roof, the door opens. So this is not a bad little piece. If you want a graveyard or like a, uh, you know, just a crypt to add somewhere on your terrain for fantasy games or, you know, skirmish stuff. This is a great piece because it's actually hard plastic. Like, I, I figured this was going to be the softer bone stuff because it's marked as Reaper Bones. But it is, it's hard plastic, like something you get from Games Workshop. Wow, that's, that's quite impressive, actually. And it's, it's double-sided here. Look at that. That's the inside of the crypt. You got some skeletons stuck inside of the wall there. And this must be the outer piece there. And I'll probably, you know, it looks like on, on the box they painted it. So it looks like there's a, a metal mixed in with some stone. So I don't know what era or what fantasy world that would come from. The roof here that they made is definitely like a steel color. I don't know if I'm going to make that all steel or like a brass or something. But, and I mean, it's, got, it's a fairly good size too. Like, look at that's really nice. Okay, they got the door hinge here, a wooden door, and then the door, once it's in, you know, you can open and just close the door. It'll, it works on hinges. So you can have a fully operational door. Just don't glue it down. You can open and close the door for your miniature. That's really cool. Okay, so that's the front and the back. Now, oh, okay, so it's got a top piece here, which glues into there so they multi-piece it so that's something i would just glue on right away just to get that out of the way okay um let's look at the side walls here so this is the length i'm assuming this is the inside because here is the outside where everyone's looking at it and then you know it's got the decorations and the murals on the side of the uh the crypt here and then of course these um these uh pieces of stone that are jutting out obviously are going to be sitting on the outside it even has a base. Okay, that's cool. This piece here, obviously for the door inside to hold it shut. But there's a, look at that. Look at this. That's the base and they have like a summoning circle pre-built into it. I'm going to have to figure out how to paint this nice. But let's just see here. It's, it's modular. Let's see how it sits here really quickly. Now it looks like it clips in like that. I'm just going to clip it in. I don't know if that's wise right now. I should be able to remove it after. Oh yeah, I could. Just gotta be gentle with it. But you wanna stick it in like so. I'll probably end up gluing it. Let's just stick it in really quickly here. Is there anything different? No, it's the same thing on both sides. It's just a left and right piece. So clip it in like so. I have to figure out how the roofs go on. The roof goes on here. Here's the roof. It's a nice, uh, it's just, it's kind of, I'd expect a stone roof, but it's like an all, it's a metal sheet roof, so it's kind of interesting. I guess maybe I should have, uh, looking at the box now, I should have put the roof in first before I put on the, on the walls here, because I think the idea is that these spikes are supposed to uh, sit outside the wall. Luckily, this is not hard to pull out. It's amazing that it's all plastic. Surprise. Okay, so... I guess that'll stick on this piece here. Okay, like so, right? And I should maybe get that on first. It might also be, because you might want it modular. It might just sit on it like that. So I'll have to figure out if I want to glue it down to the floor first or not. Uh, maybe I should actually build it. <laughs> See what it does. Me just rambling on here, trying to figure out how to build it. I think it's probably best that I paint most of it first 
and then maybe glue it together. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you wanna make sure. Some of these seem a little hard to stick in, so hopefully when I fully assemble it. Okay, so it's like this. Cool. And then you stick it down on the thing here. Now, I might not glue that actually. I might keep it modular so then I can pull it off and have a summoning circle. But yeah, just like that, you got a nice modular base to work with. You keep the roof off, it's good to go. Um, the top of the roof here has these slits. I think all you do is you glue in these here and you got a spiked building. And yeah, okay, so to keep it modular, and I think I will wanna keep it modular. Hmm. Okay, so you could do something like that, I guess. It's a little off, but I'll take that off for now. So, it does say you can take off the roof. I'm just looking at the side there. But I find it's a little difficult to do that because the way they built it is like you're supposed to stick the roof in on the sides, on the left and right like that but I'm not exactly sure how you're gonna manage to take that off easily. Cause to be honest with you, the way it's built is that they've got these little nooks here to fit in the tops pieces of the roof there, but it's not so, maybe I pushed them too close together or something, but it, to me, it's not so intuitive to, to, to have the roof sit like this. I think you're gonna have to adjust it quite a bit here so you can make the top of the roof modular or you just make it a completely glued piece. But I think if you do that, you miss out on the inside cool effects of the building. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's the best way to have this roof here. Um, you know, or maybe maybe when we, if we play games, I just lift up the house and whatever goes on inside of the, the crypt here, we pretend it's in a wall, I'm not sure. But I think, I don't think it's, so easy to, to, to take off this roof if you want it to sit properly. Because otherwise, yeah, you see, I really have to push it down and then it doesn't, the roof itself doesn't fit in these little notches here. So I'll have to figure something out, um, either glue it and make it one piece and just lift it up if we want to access the stuff inside. Um, it might be better that way because often in games, you know, you have a building you're representing and then the only thing is then what's the point of painting the inside right like so i'll have to figure something out with the roof but in any case other than the roof and you know the roof being a little anti-modular like i i figured i could just have a roof sit on the top but really it's not so simple but other than that great little kit um you know maybe i pushed it in too much maybe it should sit loose that looks a little better, okay. Maybe for this kit, see the problem is though if you do that, it doesn't look as good on the sides. If you push it all the way in, the thing, the thing doesn't look as convincing or as full, but that's how you can get the roof off if you wanna access the roof and have a base on it. So anyway, that's, I'm just been rambling here. <laughs> one, one thing here, but I think it's worth it just sharing on how it put it's stuck together. So. I'm gonna be playing with that, getting it ready for the next Kickstarter details. That looks cool. Um, the other thing I got, and I just look at really quickly here, is some Renedra ruins. And they are super basic. They are super easy looking to assemble here. Let's look at them here. So basically you have these stone pieces and on the back you're gonna be connecting either side with uh, with these holes and the little slots. So let's take this big one, for example. And let's clip it right out of the sprue because these are, ouch, I pinched myself there. <laughs> Don't pinch yourself with the model tools. But you wanna just take that out and the idea is, let's better clip it proper. You know, you're gonna take this piece here and very simply find the opposite side and glue them together like that and then maybe put some milliput to cover up that mold line but that's just basically like ruined walls to strew about the place 
you know, very basic, not much depth in them, in my opinion. It's a rather, it's an older ruined piece, I think, and a, a kind of a, a cheaper one. That was back in 2015. But I mean, if it, it gets the point across if you just want some crumbling walls for some sort of fantasy adventure or, you know, in the field somewhere, maybe you're doing historicals. So anyway, that's me opening up uh, most of the focus on the Obsidian Crypt here. Cool box kit. Um, I think hard plastic was cool. I'm gonna have to play with it and see what's the best way to have the roof sit on top because I do want to be able, I'm not gonna glue it to the base, but I do want to be able to take that roof off and access the stuff inside. And it's just really cool because there's a mixture of uh, metal and stone in it. So it'll be interesting to paint and, and get around to doing so. So thank you all for watching. The video was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope you got some value out of that if you want to look at getting reaper bones. So we'll see you guys in the next videos and uh, on the next Kickstarter if you're interested. So more details about that coming up. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.